They were supposed to be helping veterans, but instead investigators say they were stealing from them. The Upper Valley Charity now shut down after allegedly using donations to pay for personal expenses, even vacations. Alexandra Montgomery digs into the Attorney General's report. On its website, Project Vet Care says it aims to alleviate the problems that many veterans face today and that, quote, our organization aims to ensure that no veteran is left behind. So why was Executive Director Danielle Goodwin allegedly spending the charity's money on things like a Florida vacation on Royal Caribbean Cruise Line? According to the New Hampshire Attorney General, an investigation shows charity funds were spent on personal fuel oil deliveries and household repairs, stipends for Goodwin's children, Goodwin's son's household and medical expenses, a nearly $50,000 loan to Gavin Goodwin, and a nearly $300,000 spent using a PVC debit card on unknown purchases. An attempt to salvage PVC failed. According to the report, the group was dependent on a few large donors who were exploited and, quote, could not be counted on for future support. Since then, PVC's properties have been sold. Its three spots in Hanover and Lebanon shut down. And Daniel Goodwin has to pay $90,000 in restitution. Gavin Goodwin, $30,000. Three other employees paid a little more than $22,000 total. After PVC's accounts are settled, there will be about $200,000 left. According to the report, that money will go to another charity that serves veterans. In his report, Attorney General Gordon McDonald says, quote, Veterans deserve our respect and support. It is a deeply disturbing breach of trust that funds raised in their name were instead diverted for a cruise vacation, household expenses, and tens of thousands of dollars of improper loans to directors. Alexandra Montgomery, Channel 3 News. Now, we tried to reach out to Project Vet Care for a statement. We have not heard back yet.